in this lecture we are going to install SAS and then once we install SAS we are going to install Visual Studio Code. One key note to remind you of that Ruby does not have to be installed in Mac because it, beca it is pre-installed right out of the box. In our Windows installation of SAS we did not have to install Ruby because we installed Visual Studio 2015 and Visual Studio Web Essentials and those two install SAS and they install Ruby at the same time. If you were not using the extension of Web Essentials then you would have to install Ruby first before you install SAS. So in this case I'm going to go to the terminal first so you can type command space terminal double click it and then I had it down here on my app bar but I wanted to show you how to get to it just press command uh, and space so what you're going to do is you're going to type sudo sudo gives it admin rights gem install sas and now it's installing sas on our device then we want to test and make sure sas was installed we type sas dash v and we see sas 3.4.20 and we see selective steve that means that our sas is installed correctly from there now we're going to go to safari and we're going to type visual studio code you go right here to visual studio code code.visualstudio.com and then from there you click download code for OSX I've already done this so you can click it right here it will go ahead and install just to show you it goes right here and it will download onto your device just to show you the installation process it's decompressing the zip file let's go ahead and double click that open it and we have Visual Studio Code on our Mac OS X device. We will go ahead in the next subsequent lectures and sections uh, compiling our SAS files in Visual Studio Code. We will run the command prompt to watch for any SCSS file changes and we will show the implementation of those changes in Visual Studio Code as they're happening. I want to thank you for joining me in this lecture series. You have a nice day.